my friends, and welcome back to the Long Dark on our Interloper playthrough. And uh, this is episode 28. Let's get our lantern lit here. Let's see where we are. Okay, we are in the Prepper's Cache here in Pleasant Valley. And we need a drink. Let's go ahead and get things started here with a drink all right so question is what are we gonna do today and uh, so a few things I I remember leaving my bow back at the cave which I probably should never have done uh, so I want to get my bow um, I was thinking it might be a good idea to scale this rope up to Timberwolf Mountain and see if we could try to get the as possible if there's a moose there. What time is it? Oh, it's almost sunrise, so it's gonna be really cold. Um, hmm, all right, so we're gonna go back in, and try to warm up. Um, but guys, I wanted to say thank you. Uh, I've noticed the past, um, well, it's actually been a lot of episodes. Whenever I upload an episode, uh, one of the first people who views my videos, I don't know who you are, but they give me a thumbs up, and I wanna tell you thank you so much. It, I can tell you haven't even watched the episode yet because it's like that quick, you know. Uh, these are these are like hour-long episodes, um, but it it just means so much. I, I appreciate it. it. Makes me feel like uh, you know validated or like uh, somebody's enjoying this. So thank you so much. Um, I will tell you, it wasn't until I became a video creator here on YouTube that I actually uh, and I and don't get me wrong, guys. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to get you guys to give me thumbs up or anything but I I will say once I started receiving thumbs up it made me appreciate other people's stuff and, and I really uh, try to it kind of it's probably coming off the wrong way so I apologize I'm, I'm not trying to like guilt anybody into thumbing thumbs it up but it, it is a fact it is true that I appreciate it absolutely and I, uh, I I try to pass that along so anyway whoever you are person who who does that just know I, I noticed it and I do appreciate it okay now back to what are we gonna do so the problem is it's early morning I don't think I have a whole lot of stuff to do other than maybe just wait how's our energy so our energy's full so I don't really want to sleep or anything I do have a crafting table right here um, the main thing I'm missing right now are the guts so I would love to make um, like rabbit skin gloves or even some fishing line with hooks. But uh, pretty much everything I want to make right now is going to require guts. Just for fun, I'm going to take a look at the workbench here. Let's see what our crafting options are. Don't have, yeah, really just don't have any, any options. Um, I could make some more hooks, I believe. So we just need the workbench and some tools, maybe. Uh, let's see how many hooks we already have. So we already have four hooks. I might, you know, I might make just a few more. Let's grab one of these scrap metal. And we'll make three more hooks. Interesting, it doesn't really give me an option to use tools here. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and make some more hooks. I would like to go fishing sometime. If I could ever get some um, cured guts. So currently we have a bear skin curing in the bear cave along with all of his guts, which I mean that's a lot of guts. I think it was like eight maybe. Maybe it's like eight guts or more even. Um, and I'm kind of worried if he responds, I'm worried that he's going to eat the meat and guts that we have left there. I don't know how that works. If, if he goes in there, is he going to eat those? I'm not sure. Oh, I, I remembered one more thing, guys. What, as I was editing the last video, I realized... Um, so if you remember in the last video, I went to sleep without drinking water and took some damage. But it was a lot less damage than I actually realized. When I went back to edit, my health was actually pretty low to begin with. And so when I woke up and my health was low, I just assumed a lot of it was from the water um, being thirsty. But it actually wasn't that bad. It was uh, my health was just really low to begin with, uh, so I apologize if, if you if you're watching. You're like Sprocket. It really wasn't that bad, you know. A 
I'm gonna need to eat soon. Oh wow. Love the mornings here on the long dark. Let's see if I can get a nice view of the sunrise here. Oh, we are hungry, so I better eat up. Yeah, let's go ahead and eat this. I'm, I think I'm going to try for well fed. Um, I hope that's not too ambitious. Uh, we should be okay for meat for a little while. But in the long run, I'm kind of worried about our food situation. Um, okay, now, one other thing I was thinking. If we get, uh, if we decide to go for the, the uh, I was going to say elk, but uh, it's not elk, the moose. If we decide to go for the moose, um, I'm going to need a lot more fuel. Let's see if we can use this, a mag. Hey, we can. We can use a mag lens. Let's go ahead and get this started. Um, so when I go back to the cave, Come on, little fire. I want to try to bring some food, uh, like the the meat, as much meat oh, as I can, so cold. and uh, then I need to. Um, I want to grab coal and bring coal back up here to uh, possibly cook up any, you know, you know, the the moose if we're able to get the moose. Okay. Let's check out our temperature currently. So we're at negative 39. Oh my gosh. Um, shoot. So I probably just need to get some tea cooking and then let's get out of here. I don't really want to put enough fuel on the fire to make it warm. Hmm, time of day. Shoot. You know, I could just read. I think we have enough light to go reading. Do we have a book? So yeah, I could read a couple of hours. Um, I'll take a couple torches. So I just kind of wasted some wood here. I'm gonna go read for a couple hours. We can warm up, and also um, that while we're warming up, that the day temperature is warming up as well. So I'm going to head back inside. Okay. I'm going to need to get a drink. I'm kind of low on water right now. Okay, let's read for two hours. Let's do one hour first. And then I want to see what the temperature is. Let's go outside and get a better reading on the uh, temperature. Okay, current temperature. Oh man, it's so cold. Negative 45. So cold. Okay, I'm going to read for one more hour. Okay, we can drop this. Yeah, I should probably drop it over by the uh, by the furnace or the uh, what is that the stove the outdoor stove yeah, got a little bit of a snowstorm that's not good temperature wise though it has warmed up a little bit not a whole lot though so cold. And I probably can't start a fire with the mag lens anymore, huh? Yeah. Okay, how many matches do we have? We're down to seven matches. OK, 
Okay, I guess I'll go ahead and use one. Oh no. Sounds like a blizzard is coming. Starting to feel numb. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Okay, let's check our temperature so now. Slowly getting up there. I might have to use a piece of coal just to get warm. All right, let's get some water cooking. Okay, we finally have started getting a little bit warm. I am worried about this uh, blizzard now. I think I could make my way back to the, the cave in a blizzard. I just don't know about the warmth. I don't even know if we have enough tea to stay warm. Got some coffee, got one herbal tea. And some reishi tea. It might be too early to warm these up. I'm going to pick them up again. A little too early. So coal. Let's see how many coal we have. So we got seven coal left. I'll rotate it. There we go. Okay, well we are warming up. Not a whole lot we can do in the meantime, though. Oh, what are these? Fishing lures. So I think with the new update, we have the opportunity for different kinds of lures. Acorn, crow feather. You can get crow... Oh, okay, yeah. Crow feathers. Interesting. Fishing tip-up. Interesting, okay, so it says uh, fishing tip up. We can leave it in an ice fishing hole to catch a fish unattended. It can also be set with bait or lure. So that's kind of cool. Okay, well, this blizzard's kind of thrown a wrench in the works here. Man, that is so powerful. I don't have any more books to read. Kind of wait this out. There's not really a whole lot to craft.
And if I try to, yeah, if I try to head out of here, we're going to go through so many T's. I might just have to wait. I hate to say it, but I might have to just wait out this storm. We do have three hours, so, so that's good. Okay, I'm going to wait for an hour. That's, uh, we'll just pass time for an hour. Put some more water on. Try another hour. Um, oh, looks like the storm actually has lifted. So now might be our opportunity. How cold is it over here? Still really cold. Negative 20. Yeah, I'd really like to get those uh, rabbit skin gloves. Visibility's good. I might go for it. Let's uh, put some T's down. Let's go ahead and... I'm just gonna drop this stuff. Let's see water, we do have some bad water here. Be nice if we could just dump this out, you know? If we have bad water, so we're not uh, tempted to drink it. Okay, I already, I already have a pot, I believe, so I don't need to pick up that other one. Alright, do I have a tin can? Or did I leave it? I don't know, where is my cooking pot? Maybe I... Maybe I left it somewhere, so I got one here. Yeah, I must have left it somewhere. Grab that. Okay, I'm gonna go for it, guys. Let's grab a. Uh, I'm gonna grab some torches while we're at it. Torches are not very good. But uh, I'll probably just drop them here for extra fuel in the future. Let's go ahead and drink that. Ok, 
Okay, I'm gonna drop a bunch of our torches here. Okay. Looks like the weather has turned nice again. Feels like negative 19. some wolves over here but this is kind of the way I want to go Yeah, I feel just a little bit stuck here because uh, the bear was such a good opportunity. I went ahead and took him down, but then he uh, kind of changed our plans a little bit, um, so that now I, you know, I've had to devote a lot of time to processing the bear. Um, and it's not—he wasn't really in the best location, I think. Well, I mean, he was—it is good because he was by the cave. Um, one other good thing is that because that happened, we got rid of our cabin fever risk uh, from crafting. So we spent all this time crafting up the bow and, bow and arrows, and it gave us cabin fever risk. Um, and so the bear actually did help us to get rid of that because we could sit in this cave here, kind of get rid of it. So yeah, I think as a whole that was a positive thing. Like we're, I de I'm definitely in a better position now than I was before the bear came. We just simply the food, you know. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and eat it up. Eat as much food as you want, Astrid. Okay, so I want to take. Some things back with us, like some of these guts. 41% cured guts. Oh, maybe I will leave those. I hate traveling with the uh, with those. Um, I wouldn't mind taking the bear hide. Um, what do we want to? Hey, there's my cooking pot. Okay. So I did leave those here. Um, I think what I'll do, I'm, I'm going to take a few of these with me. Let's just see how many I have. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we got ten guts. I think I will leave five here. And I'll take five with us back to the mine. Although we are kind of heavy. Maybe I'll take four back. And then the rest, I'm just going to grab as much meat as I can. Yeah, this pack is getting kind of heavy. I might leave those. We'll leave those and see if I can take all this back to the the mine. Let's drink. Uh, did they just expire? Yeah, these are probably all cold now, huh? 
I could um, warm up another tea real quick. Oh man, we are so heavy. That's so much. Let's warm up our teas again before we head out. Yes, so we're still kind of in limbo, it feels like. You know, I'm not, I don't really have a clear plan yet. I don't really have clear direction yet. Um, I'm still just kind of recovering from being so hungry and all that. Okay, let's drop our teas. Um, there you are. Yeah, they'll probably boil off, but that's fine. Okay, I hope this works. Do have a little bit of wind right now. That could be a problem. Wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Oh, it's really slowing us down, the wind. is right in our face and there goes our torch okay this could be a big problem I can't feel my feet I'm just gonna drop all these here um, dang I'm really worried about the torch going out things are just not cooperating the weather's not cooperating. Can we light this with a uh, magnifying lens? Yeah, we can. I only have two sticks left. Come on, little fire. That didn't work. Let's try it again. What oh, is so cold? Come on, little fire. Wow, you're so cold. Um, shoot. Well, let's just see if I can get a torch lit with this. Is it just going to go out again in the wind? It probably will. I can carry much more. Okay, I'm gonna just go with that. That's crazy wind. Yeah, I'm just having to run right into the wind.
Okay, so I do have some flares with me. If the, the torch blows out, I'm going to get some flares. We're definitely going to be attracting wolves. Freezing cold. Um, just going to try to make it up to the, uh, the mine. I don't even care if we come back at this point. I just want to get up there, get our bow and arrow. We could either move on from there or come back this way if we wanted to. Uh, we never did finish exploring all of Coastal Highway. So that is an option. You know, there's lots of areas we haven't even gone to yet. Um, I wouldn't mind going to Mountain Town and exploring um, exploring the town there. Is that uh, Milton? Is that the name of it? I've got a wolf up ahead by the... Oh, nice. You know, I'm going to use a... Uh, use a red flare. All right, Wolfie, come on. You run off that way, thank you. This flare should burn, uh, you know, for a fair amount of time. Oh, we're just so slow with that wind. That's gonna be a real problem. That's my biggest problem right now. And of course it's blowing the direction we want to go. Can I get any protection from this wall here, this rock? Is he coming back? Yeah, looks like he's coming back for more. We just smell so good, I bet. With all that meat and guts. Uh, we could be getting hypothermia risk here pretty soon as well. Ah, oh, man, this wind. taking a lot of damage. Okay, I'm gonna get up next to the cliff here. I'm gonna drop all our meat and we'll get a fire started. Well, there should be a car right over here, right? Hello there, wolf. <laughs> I looked up and there's a wolf. Um, there should be a car right around the corner here, I think. And that might be our best chance for getting warm. Man, this wind is just kicking our butts. I don't know if I could keep a fire going over here. See how warm we are in the vehicle? Not at all. Let's drop all our meat. Okay, do we have any kind of wind protection here? I don't think I have any coal either, do I? Do I have any fi I don't have any fuel. I have one stick, guys. Oh man. 
Alright, let's just leave the guts there. Okay, here's the entrance to the mine. Well, entrance to the road to the mine, I should say. Hello, rabbit. Looks like the wind has died down a little bit. I think there's just one more wolf to worry about. Hey, got some mushrooms. It looks like the wind has died down a lot. I'm, some, I'm curious what you guys would have done. So if you're in this situation, what would you do? Would you just try to get out of here? Would you head to a certain location? You know, I like to I like to hear the different options. Kind of helps me to broaden my views and understanding of possibilities. Right now, my main focus is I just have to get warm. Got to, I got to get out of this cold. Um, I'm gonna need to rest soon. I think right now the mine is my biggest uh, opportunity to get out of here and get some get some coal. Of course, we do have the bow and arrow. I saw right there. I probably shouldn't have dropped the bow and arrow. I think uh, I should just keep that with me. It kind of uh, kind of kind of ties me back to this location. I should say so. It's like an like an anchor, you know. I don't like that feeling of having uh, having to come all the way back somewhere to retrieve something. Okay, nice. We made it. I uh, don't think we have hypothermia. We have hypothermia risk, but uh, we should be okay now. Now that we're back in the cave. Um, there should be plenty of coal throughout. The, I'm hoping more coal has spawned throughout the cave. Hey, we do have some cured guts. That is great. I could craft up um, those mit the uh, rabbit skin mittens. Definitely an, op an option there. Uh, I'm going to take the heavy hammer so I can drop it closer to the other side. We have another cured gut here. Oh, yeah, this is all my stuff, right? I should just pick up all this stuff. head back into the mine. Oh, it's going to get dark here soon. I'm going to try to find as much coal as I can. If there is any. Just peek around here. There's one.
Well, I'm hoping we can get some more coal out of this. At least uh, three pieces would be, I think would be good. Let's see if there's anything down here. No. No coal. Okay, we got the crafting table. It'd be nice if that was a burn barrel. Could break down the crate and that other... Um, wooden box over there. You know, and I was recently wondering how many days? I ran close to 50. Where are we at? 48. So we got two more days to survive and then we hit the 50 day mark. I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, I was really hoping we'd find some more coal. Oh good, there's a bunch of crates here as well. We could break these down. Don't see any coal in there. So I think I'll try to get close to the other uh, entrance to the cave here. And we'll spend the night. And then in the morning I could try to use the mag lens. Um, although we do have the lantern, so I could use that as well if we need to. Okay, I think I left a bunch of coal uh, at this other end, if I remember. So that's going to help a lot. I hope I did. Okay, yeah, nice. We got some coal here. Um, I think it's just time to go to sleep, honestly. Let's get a drink. Um, yeah, I'm going to drink an herbal tea. Okay, let's go to sleep. I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, time of day, still kind of dark, so I could break down. Let's uh, let's get our lantern lit. Okay, I could break down a couple of these. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's uh, use the heavy hammer. Oh, it's probably too dark, huh? Okay, once again, we are hungry. Um, yeah, we do have a little bit of food. Uh, it would be good to have that meat with us. Uh, it's one of the hardest things about this game is traveling with meat. You know, we could kill animals all day with the bow. But uh, I think we pretty much just have to leave pockets of meat all over the place. We can't really travel with the meat. Um, so go ahead and eat some of these. Lantern lit again. It's a time of day. Oh, it is. It is light enough. So I can put this out. And uh, there's a crate. Pretty cold out there. Just for fun, let's head out, take a peek. That is super cold. Um, we are heavy, aren't we? Okay, so I might drop some stuff here. Okay, I wouldn't mind heading out and exploring this. Uh, there's a trailer right down here. Hmm, do I want to bring any coal with me? I'm going to grab just a little bit more. Seems like we always need coal. I think I have three pieces right now. That's a lot of coal. Okay, I want to check out this trailer. Let's grab a blue torch. It feels good to be back at the coastal highway. And uh, we haven't explored this trailer yet. I thought I heard something like a... Uh, like a wolf eating a, a rabbit or something. Right, let's head inside.
Hey, got some food. It's gonna be kind of tricky to grab. This will come in handy. Okay, hmm, just got some, some options here. Could uh, break down this bedroll for some cloth. What are we looking f as far as our cloth goes? Got one piece of cloth. I'm kind of worried about our food situation. four minutes all right let's do it we're gonna get six cloth out of this can you eat trees pillow 11 minutes for two cloth yeah that's actually pretty good our hunger is gonna Man, do we, do we try to maintain our well-fed? I'm, I'm going to do it for now. Okay, we've got some good cloth out of that. Okay, we could go back to the Quonset garage and try to take down a wolf or a bear. And uh, we do have the crafting table there, so I can craft up some mittens and possibly do some repairs or whatnot. The uh, weather is turning bad. Do have our bow and arrow, right? Okay, I got 12 arrows. <laughs> I'm going to head down this way. There is another mine now, actually, now that I think of it. Um, here in the coastal highway, there is that other mine. And it uh, should have a fresh supply of coal as well. Wait, I'm so cold, I'm warming up a bit. Uh, we might be right close to it, actually. I'm trying to think where we are. I think it is just around the corner here. Should just be right up there, but I'm trying to watch for wolves. Right now. There we go, there's the mine. And I wonder if the bear comes right through here as well. That'd be actually kind of nice. Oh, we got the trailer over there. Okay, let's hit this trailer first. All right, Wolf, where are you? I 
I think there can be a deer at the end of the uh, the, lo the logs over there, maybe? I do want to check that out. Okay, don't blow out my torch. Do have any mushrooms? Let's head inside. Ah, food, situ food situation is not looking so good. Check this already. Yeah, the loot is just so scarce lately. I'm gonna get down low here. Okay, and this wind is kind of a problem. Get some water cooking. Okay. Hello, Wolfie. Sure, come on over. Where are you? Mm, I kind of half meant to do that and half didn't. <laughs> percent the hunger part of me wanted to kill that wolf be dying from starvation. yeah there we go we just lost our well fed um, I wanted to see if there's a deer over here it's just gonna blow out isn't it There often is a deer at the end of this uh, little bit of land here. Hey, Wolfie. All right, come on. Nice, archery. Okay, I gotta remember, yeah, taking shots at these guys is gonna help a lot, actually their archery situation. Okay, here's the deer. It's gonna be probably too cold to harvest over here though, that's the problem. Oh, it's good to know he's here though. Okay, so here's where uh, you can definitely see my novice skill level as an interloper is coming through. So, uh, doing the best I can, but I definitely have a lot to learn here. Okay, water. Nice. So that is cooked up. Um, I probably want to head back inside, actually. Oh, you know what? There's the, there's the, the mine across here. That's probably the best option. Right now, let's pick these up. With this much gear. Uh, these are not good torches. None of these are very good. Well, so we'll take what we got.
Okay, I'm just gonna head over to the uh, coal mine over here. Uh, come on. Make sure the bear's not out. Now, I haven't seen rose hips for a while. Can't remember the last time we got a rose hip. Okay, let's hurry and get inside before a torch goes out. Ah, and uh, unfortunately, I can't really have a fire in here. I forgot about that. As far as, I, as far as I know, there's only one entrance or exit to this mine. So I'm going to drop a bunch of stuff here. Drop all our coal uh, right here. I don't know why I'm carrying this around. Huh. It's stuck in there now. Let's see what else we got. Hey, we got all these guts. Okay, really, right now we just need a lot of food. This will come in handy. Hey, more quality tools, all right. If there's a workbench in here, I don't remember seeing one. There, we got some food. Perfect. Okay. I'm not sure I can carry him. Let's head back into the cave, um, mine. Now I think this is the mine, if there's an aurora, we can uh, possibly take the elevator down, but that could be a death trap as well, depending on how long the aurora lasts. We do have some coal here. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, here's the elevator. It takes us down. Okay, we've got a bunch of crates here. I'm curious if there's anything in those. But uh, with our hunger situation, I don't know if I am able to spare the energy to try to break those. Okay, so I'm thinking at this point it might be best just to try to head to the Kwanzaa garage, possibly get a deer or some some kind of food. We gotta we gotta get some food. Okay, we're super heavy. Um, you know, I probably better um, get a. Yeah, I can't light a fire in here. I keep forgetting I can't light a fire. I need to warm up some tea. But I don't think I can do it in here. I can hear the wind howling outside. Yeah, it won't let me make a fire inside. Let's get a drink while I'm thinking about it. Okay, I'm kind of worried about the uh, wind here, but uh, I think I have to head out. Ah, torch is out. Okay, we don't have any smelly stuff, so that's good. Hey, we do have some uh, rose hips. Okay, so since I can't light a fire in the mine, I think I'm going to head back to this trailer. Because I've got to get a fire going. We're just taking way too much damage. I'll grab these sticks here. Alright, Astrid, I'm going to try to play a little smarter now. Try not to take any more damage today. Let's get out our blue flare. If that wolf comes around, that's gonna be trouble. I can't feel my hands. Is that trailer? Did I go past it? There it is. I've never felt so cold in my life. It'd be nice if the wolf died like right around here as well. Is that the wolf? It might be the wolf by that telephone pole. Alright, come on. So cold. Let's get inside and start warming up. Okay. Boy, this game is a struggle constantly. For sure. I mean, this uh, interloper is no joke. Um, I am determined to make it to day 50, guys. That at least, I've got to do that. Got one more day. Um, 
Of course, I'm going to try as long as I can. I'm not going to give up on day 50, but uh, if I can reach day 50, that is a big accomplishment for me on my first interloper playthrough here. So, well, what's the time like? Okay, this actually is a great place to uh, call it an episode. We've found a safe location. Um, we're in trouble, though. I, I My food situation is pretty poor. I've got to get better with the bow. Got to um, figure out hunting strategies and whatnot. Um, the biggest thing going for us right now, though, guys, is this big pile right here. This pile is life. We can with this we can make tons of water and cook up anything we catch or kill. Um, so we're actually not in a terrible situation because of that. Um, and I do have a little bit of reserves here with our food. We got enough to make it by. Uh, I can definitely get a good night's sleep tonight with with what we have here. Um, I may, if I can get warm enough and I'm brave enough, if the temperature uh, warms up just a little bit, I might try to get that rat or the uh, the deer meat and skin. And I wouldn't mind checking to see if that is the wolf over here. You know, maybe I'll do that now. Um, just because when I quit this game, it's gonna uh, it's going to continue the game. Oh, hey, the weather has actually let up quite a bit. That is nice. Anyway, when uh, when we restart our game in the next episode, it's going to restart from the trailer there. I want to see if this is the wolf. I saw a big black hunk over here. Is that just a rock? Just a rock trying to trick me. Okay. Well, it would be nice if we come across the wolf that we... Uh, Shot the arrow at. We can retrieve our arrow and get some meat off of that. Alright guys, well thank you for coming along with me and I do hope to catch you in the next episode. Thanks for being patient with me as I'm learning this. I'm, I'm making lots of mistakes. There's no way around that for sure. I am making lots of mistakes, so I appreciate your patience and especially, gosh, you guys are giving me tips. Um, that is really helping me out. So thanks for coming along with me, and I do hope to catch you in the next episode. Take care.